is combined with me you just need a lot of bottle at 525 first on four deal or no deal there we are Jan two sugars wasn't it Andres what the phone book from BT when making the right call matters 22 identical sealed boxes, in one of which is a quarter of a million pounds. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. There was a different tone to the cheering on this Monday. It was slightly lower tone. Ever since yesterday's game, where we had 100% female players, we've had guys banging down the doors of the Dream Factory saying, let me in, let me at them. Look at it, it's blokes. All we've got pilgrim-wise is blokes because the banker a couple of weeks ago set up the idea of a battle of the sexes. He wants to find out whether men are luckier than women, women luckier than men. And at the end of this whole process, we will find out if the girls can get more money than the guys. In which case, apparently, there's a very nice prize. But anyway, back to Annie's game yesterday. It was a fascinating game. She went away with 25,000. She could have gone away with 35,000. She turned down 20, and I don't think I've ever seen a player so unsure about no deal. And he was straight in. He feeds on the nerves. In the end, it worked out for her. Annie, enjoy your 25,000. It was a good start for the ladies. Come over to the East Wing here. Yes, we've got the East Wing packed with ladies. And then we've got Tom. Welcome to the game. Thank you, Now, You see, we're gradually working our way to some sort of balance. But for the moment, the principle stays the same. We have 22 different sums of money there. And we have 21 ladies who probably are feeling a little tense. Whoever it is, we wish you luck. Here's the selection process. Yes, it's come. The big moment is here. The grand opportunity is now yours. Siobhan. <laughs> come on, Siobhan. I've been looking forward to this. Spot on. Very good. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Are you nervous? I'm nervous of you because you have picked on me quite a bit. I haven't. So. I have not picked on you. It really has, actually. No, I've tried to include you in the show. Do you want to sit down? Oh, OK. Siobhan Eversley. Yes. 21 from London, a rentals manager at a car and van hire business. Um, tell me about this adoption thing, because I think it's really interesting in the file, and uh, it sounds like it had a very happy ending to, a, to it, it did, all. Yes. You keep looking round. Hello, Mum. Hello. This is my sexy mummy. Okay. Um, yeah, so I met, was it when you were, how old were you when you had me? 17. 17. And um, so she gave me up for adoption and I had two lovely parents. And then when I turned 18 I thought, oh, I quite fancy meeting my real mum and dad. And everybody gets on and it's Everyone like having on, a bigger family than ever. Can you imagine when I get married how many families I'm going to have at my wedding? I love stories like this. I'm just an incurable... Romantic. I just love stories with happy endings. Are you feeling relaxed and calm now? Not really. No? No. But you've got to accept I'm not picking on you. I'm on your side. They're all on your side. 
They're on your side. They're on your side. It's just him you've got to worry about. I don't think he's that bad. Well, you wait to see what happens. OK? I need you to confirm you chose box 22 at random before the game began. I did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all the boxes. And he's the only person who knows where the money is. Uh, Siobhan, yes. it's a real pleasure to have you here. And I hope you and Mum have an absolutely sensational game. Siobhan, win a huge amount of money, please. Good luck. Thank you. Pick a box now. <laughs> Do you want to just go home now? <laughs> I don't know what number to pick. You're on your own now. Okay. I'm going to pick Danielle number two. Yeah? Why? Why did the cat cross the road? <laughs> <laughs> I thought there might have been a nice story between you and Danielle or, or something like that. Never mind. Danielle, you're first in. Good luck, Siobhan. 20,000. Well, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lisa, number 15. Why? <laughs> Lisa, will you please open box number 15? <laughs> Good luck. You didn't want to do that. No, I didn't. Never mind, never mind, there's loads more. There is loads more there. <laughs> Mummy Caroline. Caroline, Hit big smile one. and a blue. I hope it's a blue for you, Siobhan. All the very best. Oh, you do like your race. 10,000 now. Alex, number six. Oh, Alex, come on. 50,000. <sighs> Zyder, 21. Zyder, we've got to hit a blue. Siobhan, I'm going to miss you so much. Oh, it's a poo poo. I'm a blue. <laughs> 3,000. Well, you've created a money ladder. Come on, come on, shoulders okay. back, come on, chin up. Let's really, let's show him that we're very optimistic and there's 100,000 in there. Bless you. <laughs> Hello? Oh, thought you'd be so rumbustuous today. Rude. It's so rude he's going, hey, look at the pilgrims, all those chaps. <laughs> Sniffing around. <laughs> A bunch of monkeys. <laughs> Not me, I didn't say that, I only pass it on. You are so rude, you'll be lucky to get out of here alive. Uh, he's really been looking forward to your game, Sean. Is he being honest, though? Well, he's just described you as one of his favourite players of all time. And he's not going to pick on you. Absolutely not, he said. Mm. Oh, good. Oh, good, good, good. That's very good. Despite all the fun, gentle prodding, um, he thinks you've got real courage and you could make his life very unpleasant today. Go on, then. Oh! He says, normally, after an opening round like that, he'd be tempted to offer you 25 quid. But <laughs> Steady! <laughs> Brace yourselves. There's more. However, he genuinely is a bit unsure about you. And he's giving you the benefit of the doubt that maybe, actually, you're going to turn into a formidable foe. So, he's giving you two and a half thousand as the opening offer. Two and a half grand! Not 
being serious now. Yeah. What's formidable? Yeah. <laughs> a formidable foe, um, somebody who deserves respect because they could turn out to be very powerful and... Oh, he's being really nice then, isn't he? <laughs> Hello? 25 quid? No! <laughs> You've had an idea, go on. OK, all right, thanks. Thanks. You've given him an idea. Uh, there's something he normally keeps in his office. He's sending it over right now. It's on its way. Uh, you are potentially a formidable uh, foe. <laughs> Thank you, Gregory. <laughs> Pardon? I'm asking at the end. Well, I'm, I'm not sure it's a gift. I think it may be an extended loan. But oh, OK. You'll find it ubiquitous. No, don't start with that with me, please. <laughs> he can see I'm not looking. Oh, here it is. Inspiring fear or respect through being impressively large, powerful or capable. Yeah. That's a very nice word. It's a lovely word, mm. and he thinks you're that. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what should we do now? Um, I think we can ask you a question. Two and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal? That's a very nice offer and a very nice word to describe me as, but um, Mr. Banker will have to say no deal. Thank you. <laughs> Carol, number 16. I hope it's blue for you. That is amazing. That is uncanny. The record is eight reds in a row. I'm not doing this very well, am I? I'm going to go with Eugene, number one. I hope it's blue. Never seen this up. I don't really want to go in the Hall of Fame for that. Well, tell people why, why they ought to come back to your game. I don't know why, to be honest with you. <laughs> so can I come back, can I come back and um, try and watch me pick one of those blues out? No. The reason why you're going to come back is this is going to be totally amazing because from here on in, she's going to have the longest run of blues we've ever had in the history of the game and she's going away with £35,000. That's <laughs> These three boxes will be opened after the break, following which the competition will be open. Welcome back to Siobhan Stage. We'll talk about it in a moment, but this is for you. £5,000, £10,000, £15,000 in these three boxes. The selection will be made by... Adrian. Adrian, will you please say one, two or three? Two, please. The middle box for Adrian. 15,000. Will you open the other two, guys? Open the other two. You could win £15,000. Here's how to enter. Call 09012 Calls cost £1 with BT. Other networks and mobiles may be higher. Lines close at noon tomorrow. Or enter online at channel4.com forward slash deal. Or you can enter by post. Send your name, town and telephone number to Deal or No Deal, PO Box 60299, London EC2P 2DN. Mark the back of your envelope with today's date and don't forget the stamp. Postal entries must be received within three working days. The winner will be announced next Monday. Over 16s and UK players only. For terms and conditions, go to channel4.com forward slash deal.
Good luck. You've got 15,000 to play for. And here, we've got 15,000 to play for. And 35,000 to play for. And we have the site of 11 blues. It's a long, long time since we've seen a column like that. And we've never, ever had the second phone call without the blue being discovered. So do it now and give us something to cheer. Come on, Irene, then. Give me a blue. Come on, Irene. Come on, Irene. Go on. It's got to be a blue. Yes, go on. Yeah! That's the beginning. You could at least look as if you believe me. That is the beginning, and you're going to go... Ch -ch 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 right? Yes. Good. Don't let him think that he's broken. He hasn't broken me. <laughs> Hello, banker. Yes. An extraordinarily unpropitious start. <laughs> Is it you and Pace? Yeah. Okay. With you in a minute. Is it in here, Noel? I can't see it. Thank you. See, it's not me. You don't laugh. It's obviously <laughs> not me, is it? Pro propitious. Um, there you go. If it's got un in front of it, does it mean that it's the opposite of that? Yes. So, go on. What's that say? Oh, that I'm not favourable? Yeah. Is that what it means? Yes. So, you've had an unfavourable start. Oh. Yeah. Right, right then, come on, come on, come on. We're going to march on and we're going to take the blues out and she's going to win a huge amount of money. Oh. He says this game has been the very definition of unlucky. He's offered to you is consequently £25. £25. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Alicia. Alicia? Do you think so? Make sure you you're think? certain she is so fast. Yeah, let's go with Alicia. Where you go. You have no fear. It is inevitable you're going to have a blue round. Just go ping, ping, and that's done. Don't forget Joan. She's here and she's lucky. I can't forget Joan. She normally stands next to me. <laughs> Don't make. You've got another Daniel there, you have. Yeah? Yeah. That's all right. Daniel did well. 75,000. Yeah. No, another 17. Yeah? Yeah. Andrea? Good luck, Siobhan. Oh! Whoops. 5,000. Siobhan, that's... You've still got your 35 and your 15. I have it. You know, we've, you've just got to... just got to find them blues. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you told me that. And then, Viv, for being so gobby, you can open your box now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. I've never seen a player manage to have such unbelievable, relentless misfortune. We've had some ghastly games recently, but I think you've outgasted everybody. I'm so sorry. 
Siobhan, hmm? £15,000 is a lot of money. Remember that. Hello. You're the stat man. When was the last time we had a situation like this, if ever? No, I thought we'd never. The offer is now, and you see where he's going with this. 2,500, came oh, to right. 25. It's £2.50. Extraordinary. I just can't believe this is happening. Two and a half grand, 25 quid, two pounds fifty. Yeah, go on off me. Two pounds fifty, deal or no deal. No deal. Thank you. Two pounds fifteen. The fifteen is there. The fifteen thousand is there. So it's you, not really going to matter which ones I pick. You've definitely got it because I'm sure after this, you're just going to go all the way. He may regret that. Maria, number 20, please. Thank you, Maria. Good luck, Siobhan. Thank you. Fingers crossed for you. Can we have a break? Absolutely. We'll take a break. I don't think this game is broken. Come back after the break. This could be the biggest turnaround in the history of Deal or No Deal. And that's why you'll come back. See you shortly. You could win £15,000. Here's how to enter. Call 09012 000. Calls cost £1 with BT. Other networks and mobiles may be higher. Lines close at noon tomorrow or enter online at channel4.com forward slash deal. Or you can enter by post. Send your name, town and telephone number to Deal or No Deal, PO Box 60299, London EC2P 2DN. Mark the back of your envelope with today's date and don't forget the stamp. Postal entries must be received within three working days. The winner will be announced next Monday. Over 16s and UK players only. For terms and conditions, go to channel4.com forward slash deal. Welcome back to Siobhan's Game. An absolutely astonishing catalogue of disasters up to this point, but now we have the absolute belief that you're going to go into the Hall of Fame for the greatest turnaround ever. My lovely neighbour Joan. Eleven. Joan, we have no fear. It's a blue in your box. I know that for certain. Great, isn't it? Yeah. Unlike any other player, you're able just to relax and enjoy opening the boxes. Uh, certain in the knowledge that £15,000 is yours. Rather exciting. Very different game. Yeah. <laughs> and it must worry him. There's no way he wants to give you £15,000. Hello. Yes, it's here. It's in box 22. Yodel Anna and I. Absolutely certain it's in here. Oh, go on then. He says everybody is going to be outraged by this offer, but actually it's a really good one because there's so little money in the game. Uh, but he knows that everyone's just going to make a horrible noise. Five hundred pounds. Oof, there you go. Oof. Ah. Oh, oof. 
Oof. That's fair enough. Well, I think, regrettably, yeah. we have to come to that conclusion. Hey, can I ask you a question? 500 pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Come on, no fear. Come on then, number 10. Gillian, come on. Blue, please. Guys, Sean and I are supremely confident. Yeah, come on, Kathy, number seven. Kathy, open a blue, please. She's so pretty. Oh. Well, that does it. I'm so sorry, I did try to talk it up. Yeah, but you jinxed it now. I didn't. <laughs> didn't you? Oh, I didn't, I didn't. I was hoping that he might worry. If we'd got to the next phone call, with the belief that it was still there on the table, we'd have got you into sensible money. That's what I was trying to do, whether or not it was there. I, know, I don't know where it is. I only try my best. Can I keep the dictionary, though? <laughs> you think you will live? I think you'd have to ask the banker. It's his dictionary. Yeah, but he doesn't need it of all his long words. Has he? I don't know. Maybe there's little words he right, doesn't Right, how many know. more boxes have I got to pick? One more? Yeah. Come on then, number five. Tom, you're in. Your first duty is to please not reveal a grant. <laughs> you don't want to be in the 1P club, do you? How many members now? I don't know. A dozen, I think it is. Hello, how many members of the 1P club have we got? Is it 12? Yep, we don't uh, have a dozen members of the One P Club yet. We're looking for the twelfth. You better keep on looking then. <laughs> keep on looking. She says we're not going there. She's going to get a grand. Uh -uh. Oh, he's got two gifts to give you, potentially. First thing is, you may keep the dictionary with his fondest best wishes, Aww. because he says you are ambrosial. <laughs> <laughs> While you're looking it up, um, you're in the Hall of Fame anyway for the lowest set of offers we've ever had. Nobody has ever failed to get above two and a half thousand. A M B. Ambrosial. A M B R O. <laughs> R.A. As likened to a rice pudding. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I thought. Something very pleasing to taste or smell. Tasty. And the offer was £99.99. .99. Wow, that was greeted with the most silent silence I've ever heard. Trying to sell me off as a pair of jeans, isn't he? <laughs> That's quite a lot of money for a pair of jeans. Ninety-nine pounds, ninety-nine p. You can afford it now. <laughs> um... <laughs> Go and ask me then. Ninety-nine pounds and ninety-nine p. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. And Brenda, number 13. Brenda, we're with you. Thank you. OK. You're a twinkly little star, babe. Good! Who should we have now, then? Who should we have now? <laughs> Go on, Kay, with the um, neck that might fall off. Come on, Kay. Siobhan, you've been a great friend. 
And good luck, darling. Come on, it can't be the thousand. Come on, we've got to believe it's here. Oh. <laughs> what on earth? I think it's sensational the way you're dealing with this. I've seen, I've seen people absolutely crumble in this situation. And the way you're doing it, I just think it's brilliant, Siobhan. I really, really do. What shall I aim for? £750, then maybe I'll pick out the fiver. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. a bad idea, is it? No. Go on, Phyllis. Phyllis, we're now with Phyllis. you. Phyllis. All the best. Can it's gone. Seven hundred and fifty pounds, five pounds, or something in between. Hello. Yeah, I think she's. I I can't remember a game like this. He agrees with my sentiments as well, oh. and uh, the offer is now two hundred pounds. Is that tricky? At last, it's tricky. Well, I don't know because if I get a five pound check, it's quite a novelty. I wouldn't it's guarantee it will be a check. Yeah. I've got a feeling someone around the corner with five coins. Do <laughs> <laughs> you mean seven hundred fifty coins? Well, seven hundred fifty if we no. get there. I mean, gone. you don't honestly believe you're going to win £750 with your luck? No, I think I'm going to win a fiver. Yeah. I do. I mean, let's get real. At least learn from the experience. Yeah, no, I think it will be £5. That's right. I, I think I'm that. just destined to have £5. Yeah, OK. Shall we crack on, then? Come on in. £200, deal or no deal? No deal. No, we want that fiver. <laughs> Oh, oh no, you're not going to. Hello. You wouldn't. <laughs> I'll pass that on. All right. You are now his favourite contestant of all time. And he sounded quite sincere there. Mind you, you've cost him so little money. Yeah, I probably am his favourite player now, yeah. aren't I? Yeah. Uh, he's offering you a swap. Yeah, go and swap it. I like swap number nine. Or no swap. 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 Why are you swapping? Because number nine is my favourite number. Okay, nine is the favourite number. Right. So hopefully, I'm bringing a fiver to the table. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't we got to the point that you just actually want to seal the most ghastly game we've ever had? Well, um. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Yeah. I think you could, you're going to win both ways. If it's 750, it's a consolation. 750 pounds, that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. If it's a fiver, you've just completed the most ghastly, horrid, awful game, but done it with real style. So I think you're a winner both ways. Thank you. This should hold no fears at all. Is it the fiver? Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Even when you were going to win £750, we carried that away. Could you please open box 22? 750's over there. That's it. That's the game. You just didn't have the boxes. You just didn't yeah. have the game to play with. He didn't have the chance to just tease you a little with any offers. There was nothing there. It was horrible. But you are delightful. It has been extraordinary. And I know I use that word a lot. 
But this has been unbelievable. A unique game. And Siobhan, you're a very special lady. I wish you all you. possible success in the future. Karen, I'm sorry it wasn't more. But Siobhan, a fiver. Absolutely amazing. And yeah, I think there will be some tears. I think that was the definition of putting a brave face on it. What a stylish young lady. And it does mean that in the battle of the sexes, the ladies have had a real setback after yesterday and 25,000 to crash to a fiver. That's really bad news. Anyway, we have to have games like this so that we can have the really big ones when we lift the roof. And let's hope that is what happens tomorrow. We'll need you. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Thanks, Don, for a new week of Nosh and Kitchen Egos with Come Dine With Me. He's so much better. How can you tell? The phone book from BT. When making the right call matters.